Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I have a pretty asymmetric gatefold card to share with you and I am focusing on the inked and tiled stamp set. Now this has been a real favourite of mine and I've used it on quite a lot of projects that I've shared with you but this time I'm pairing it with the Thoughtful Expressions dies. And this is one of the new die sets in the spring mini catalogue for 2024. And what I particularly love about this, despite the fact it's got a hummingbird die, are these gorgeous nested dies here and there's there's basically two sets sort of circular and rectangular and they really are gorgeous now these dies do coordinate with the thoughtful expressions stamp set but as i say i wanted to use my favorite inked and tiled for this particular card now my colors are a lovely combination Gorgeous Grape and Parakeet Party. And I think that they do go together so beautifully. My base card here is eight and a half by five and a half. And I scored it at two and three quarters and at seven. And that is what's going to give me the sort of offset gatefold like that. Now, my inside piece, I'm going to stamp up and I'm going to use the lovely parakeet party ink and i'm going to use uh this little sort of buds um in there and i'm just going to do corner and corner like that and then i'm going to go ahead and do my envelope while i'm at it and i'm going to use the big flower but i'm only going to use the the top i'm not going to use the whole the whole flower just going to use those two little flowers there right so those are my pieces there so i can go ahead and get this stuck down now whenever i'm whenever i'm making cards particularly if they've got lots of bits I do like to start getting them stuck down so that I don't lose them. Because that is one of my biggest problems, is losing them. Now, I have some Parakeet Party cardstock. Now, these are both five and a quarter inches long. And this one is two and a half. And this one is one and a quarter. So that will give me um, a quarter of an inch smaller and it will be able to, I'll be able to um, uh, put in a border. So using this floral stamp here, I'm going to do tone on tone stamping, which basically means using the same color ink as cards. Uh, as cardstock and that way you get a nice um, texture just using your ink so let's see about filling a little bit more space and hopefully you can see that Colour as it as it dries, it gets a little bit more intense. 
So those are our other two pieces. And I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive to stick them onto my card base. So number one. So as fun folds go, this is really an easy one. Now, all the measurements for this card will be on my blog. And if you look below this video, I have put a link to the exact blog post for this card. So you don't have to hunt and peck uh, looking for it. And there will be all the information that you need there. So there we have our card base. So next we're going to use, take out these gorgeous dies now i've already pre-cut one shape in the gorgeous grape and i think this is yeah this is the second to largest so i'm going to get the next one down so that's the third to largest and i am going to just cut that out of some basic white cardstock so on my machine, I've got my base plate, which is my number one. Then I've got a clear plate, number two. Then I'm going to put my card with my die. And then another number two plate on the top. And then just crank it through. And then we have this really beautiful shape. There we go. Isn't that stunning? Absolutely stunning. I just love them. When I opened this bag, this packet of dyes, I actually gasped, which is uh, <laughs> just, just um, took my breath away. Now this one, I used as a happy birthday and I think I'm going to go back to this stamp set and find another so there's a, a more generic one hello friend and there's a thank you just a note so I think I might make this a thank you card so we'll just pull out thank you there it is and we'll pop that on a block. There's one. And I'm going to use a darker ink. I'm going to use the um, Gorgeous Grape ink. And I'm just going to pop that sort of just towards the bottom here like that so there's my thank you and then i'm going to get my flower back along with my parakeet party ink and i'm going to backfill that white space like that gorgeous I'm just loving this this card and this color combo and maybe since I've got a little bit of a gap there I'll just use that small one there we go and now I'm going to just use my liquid and this time I need to make sure that I line up my shape. There we go. And with my card, I want to just attach it. I want it to be centered on here, um, but Obviously, I don't want it to stick to that side of the card. So I'm going to pop one dimensional there 
and then I'm going to put the other two on what will be the left hand side of my card. And again, centering it up. Perfect. Now I've got these beautiful ribbons um, here. Now it comes in a twin pack. So there's this lovely pretty um, uh, petal pink and then this lemon, I think it's lemon lime twist, but it just goes perfectly with this colour of parakeet party so we're just going to add a quick bow to this so obviously it's a it's a feminine card but you could change out the colors and the stamps and it would make a great guy card so and just trim that up and Pop a, a mini glue dot on there. And we're just going to tuck it here. And then for just a final bit of super duper bling, I'm going to bring these in. These are the flat adhesive backed pearls. And I love them. But I realise I haven't really used them very much. So I'm just going to bring one in. And I'm just going to pop it just kind of there. <laughs> and there we have a very simple and quick fun fold, offset fun fold. And we've used a couple of the new products from the from the spring mini for 2024, as well as some other things that are still in my stash. Well, I hope you've enjoyed me sharing this fun fold with you. If you have, perhaps you'll go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you don't already subscribe, perhaps you'll do that and share my video. And I will look forward to seeing you next time with another project. Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye for now.